comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you in my, ooh, check out the nail. If you're new here, if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button, hit the bell right next to it. You know what it is? Did you did you see that new intro? Like, we came with with a bang and new intro and everything. New girl, who this? Like after such a long time, I'm coming to you with a new intro. Thank you. Hello, people of YouTube. It's your girl Chilekwa back at it with another video. I know I'm saying back at it with another video, like I've been making videos all this while and I haven't. This video is literally just a chit chat video, just to chat with you guys and tell you where I've been what I've learned and all that, okay? And I'm gonna try to keep this video as short as possible because it's literally just me talking about nothing. Let's get into the video. As you can tell from the title of this video, I'm going to be talking to you about five lessons I learned um, since starting my YouTube channel. So if you're new to YouTube or considering, why am I clapping my hands? If you're new to YouTube and considering um, starting a new YouTube channel, you might wanna watch this video. It might be very helpful to you. Because when you're starting a channel, you have certain expectations, you have certain fears, you have certain worries. And so I'm going to tell you how I felt, what worried me, and what I expected, and what I actually got out of it in the end. So um, I'm firstly going to start with what I expected. So firstly, I expected to have views. Well, with, when it came to views, I actually expected to have no views at all or to have a ton of views because I, I, I would watch YouTube videos and I'm like, oh my gosh, this person got a, a thousand views, this person got a million views. So I was like, it's either I get no views at all or I do get views. The number of views that I have now is never what I have ever imagined. So I'm just going to leave it there. The next thing that I expected is no subscribers or a ton of subscribers. And I know this one, realistically speaking, the number of subscribers you get is directly proportional to the amount of content and the amount of time that you put into making your YouTube videos. So I am partly to blame for that because I started quite well and then um, for two or three, three or four months, I, I you know, it just disappeared into thin air. But I do have an explanation for that, which I'm not gonna get into because you don't really wanna know. Honestly, I, I promise you, you don't wanna know. Um, the next thing that I expected is for my channel to be like every other YouTuber's channel, okay? Um, you see another Zambian YouTuber, or you see another YouTuber, you see another YouTuber your age, you just see another YouTuber, and you tell yourself, my channel can, just, can be just like this person's channel. The danger with that is now that you're gonna start imitating other youtubers with the aim of getting your channel your channel getting the same results as someone else's but here's the reality of it people or your viewers on YouTube actually can tell when you're not being yourself and that doesn't get you any subscriptions honey and while we're on it subscribe yeah the other thing that I expected from my YouTube channel was that I was going to make it somewhat a priority the reality of that however is that I don't think right now with um, the goals that I have in life, I am able to make YouTube a priority at the moment. But that is not to say that I am quitting YouTube or that I'm going to leave or anything like that. But it's just that for some people who are YouTubers, they are able to make it a, a priority. And that's just not it for me. The last thing that I expected from my YouTube channel was that I was going to find my niche. Now, if you're um, if you're new to content creation and you've never heard of this word before, basically your niche is what you do, what's your channel all about, you know? And um, to be honest, it was very difficult for me to find my niche because I spent so much time dwelling on the audiences that I was trying to grab. And um, I spent so much time saying I wanted to attract both the male and the female audiences. And yet, when I knew what my channel niche was going to be, I needed to face the reality that my channel is not going to attract all audiences because of my niche, if that makes any sense. So um, 
what my channel was mainly going to be about is a hair the wigs the natural hair and anything related to that so if i was going to try to attract male audiences it means it would take me away from the intended intended purpose of my channel which is definitely what i did not want to do this is also not to say that i will not sometimes um, make a video a random video here and there just to entertain other people but what I had really intended for this channel was for me to actually put my, you know, my whole purpose of being out there. But now I'm going to talk about what I actually got out of my channel. Then to sum it up all up, I'm, up, I'm going to tell you whether it was all worth it in the end. So the first thing that I got from my channel was actually some recognition. You know, I would make videos and I'd think, ah, oh, the only people watching my videos are actually just my friends. And big ups to you, loyal ones. We see you, we love you, and I'm very grateful for that. But um, I've had someone actually come up to me and say, I've seen you somewhere. I know you from somewhere. And I'm like, I don't know Facebook I don't, and she's like no I know you from somewhere I feel like I know you and then I said oh I have a YouTube channel and this person goes yes that's exactly where I saw you I saw you on YouTube and even the people that you least expect or the people that I least expected to be watching my channel were actually watching my channel and they would come to me and say oh my gosh I love your channel I've seen your channel and I love what you do please do not stop so um, I'm proud or I'm happy to say that what I intended to achieve by starting this channel is what I actually got. What I have actually gotten out of it is 152 beautiful subscribers. Big ups to you. You are loyal and I will continue to make videos for you, my people, my dear people. The next thing that I was able to gain from starting this channel was PR. Um, again, if you're not into the content creation lifestyle or if you're not a YouTuber, um, but I'm sure you've come across this word before. PR is basically public relations, doing people's uh, marketing for them. So I've actually had a couple of people approach me and say, um, I see potential in your channel and um, I would like you to put my product on your channel and make people aware of your product. And that's exactly why I started my YouTube channel because I wanted to start a brand and I want to push other people's brands too. And um, funny enough, I actually had someone who was willing to send me a free item to test and then go onto their Amazon page and rate it honestly and then also come onto my channel and tell my subscribers all about it so that they can now get gain access to that kind of information and i was honored because my channel at the point at that point only had like a hundred subscribers and i felt like it, my channel was a little too small for what this person was asking me to do but i didn't hold back i didn't say no and when I actually reached out and said, I'd love to do it. And then we just discovered this person only ships within the United States of America. So I was just like, yeah. But I mean, the thought, you know, the thought that someone would actually come to you and say, I think you're capable of marketing my, my product and my item for me on my channel is what, was, what I had aimed to achieve by starting this channel, which was, yeah, I'm happy, I'm, I'm good. Like, Yes. The next thing that I achieved, the sun about to start acting up. The next thing that I achieved was also, um, I was able to realize that YouTubing is actually a hobby. It's not a priority, but it is actually a hobby and it's something that I enjoy doing and it's something that I do not plan to stop doing. So for those of you that thought I quit YouTube or think that I'm planning on quitting YouTube, that is not the case. I feel like it's something that I enjoy doing and I feel like it's something that could, could potentially grow to be something great. And I actually had someone approach me and tell me that, listen, Chilekwa, I really enjoy what you do on YouTube. I really enjoy watching your videos. And um, even if you have just three viewers, don't be disappointed by that. You have three people who really enjoy watching what you do. And that made sense, you know? Um, I was so focused on trying to get the masses but less focused on the people who are actually there and actually there to watch my videos from beginning to end and actually enjoy them and um, 
I was very, very grateful for that. So thank you so much for watching this video if you've reached this far and um, don't forget to leave a like especially if you're already subscribed to this channel just so that I can know that you were here. I know that I owe a giveaway announcement and I will be announcing the giveaway winner. Comment, like and subscribe and I will see you in my Ooh, check out the nails sis. <laughs> Comment, like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you. Bye.